What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a couple things on this video, gonna be a little bit sporadic, but the first thing is though, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I know I spent some time to relax, that's why you guys haven't seen a vlog uh, in the past probably five, six days, but it was nice to kind of step back and relax a little bit. Had a good time with the family and friends and just, just hanging out, all in all it was really nice. But uh, have a few updates for you, as you can see here, McLaren is um, still not here. You'll see some of this in a second. <laughs> but uh, McLaren's still at McLaren Philadelphia getting worked on. There's actually some things that kind of came up with it that I will elaborate in the next video or in probably the next one or two, depending on when it gets taken care of and sorted out. But um, yeah, just, you know, I, I just want to update you guys. I am going to be releasing here the winner of the giveaway later on in this video. So definitely stick around, stay tuned. But this is going to be more of a vlog style. Update coming soon on the McLaren. But before this vlog begins, I took the GoPro with me to the mountain. Now, I'm not a big skier, snowboarder, or anything. I snowboarded when I was a kid, but it, it was very, very few amount of runs down a, <laughs> a hill. So uh, I went out with Kirsten. She took me up to the mountain. She's an avid snowboarder, loves doing all that stuff. So I said, you know what? Let's go out and do what you want to do. Um, I bundled up. I looked the part. Um, I don't didn't necessarily play the part, but uh, took the GoPro along. So I want to cut to that and just kind of share with you guys uh, Multiple scenes of me pretty much just falling on my butt. We're going snowboarding, and when I say we, Kirsten snowboards, I don't. So we're gonna see how this goes. We are heading to Ski Round Top in central Pennsylvania. And I know I said I have not snowboarded before, but um, Kirsten said she's going to teach me, said said i don't know if her version of teaching me is like you know when you put the floaties on and they're like swim and they just like punch you in the pool or what but um we're gonna get there we're gonna swap out the camera for the gopro so about this point here the vlog's gonna downgrade in quality i apologize but we'll continue when we get there How do you feel snowboarding? Well, I mean, I looked the part, right. so that obviously means All right. I played the go part. Down it one more time. Go hey, that last run was good. I'll meet you at the. I'll meet but you that at the last fire, run right? was good because it was just kind of like screw it, I'm going down. And I didn't overthink it. So Troy's last run was the camera. <laughs> that. Hey, this is it's steeper than it looks in person. It's a lot steeper. Situation report, Kirsten has a spare board because she's a pro. So I'm using her extra board because the board that I borrowed, the bindings were too big. So um, yeah, my toe basically was moving. The binding wasn't able to go tight and keep my toe in. So every time I would lean back, my toe would move and the board wouldn't be able to put any weight on the back of the board. So uh, we are kind of adapting as you can see they're kind of just you know squeezed in there but i'm tight so we'll uh we'll make it happen there she goes now there's a good chance there's gonna be a fall here just because this is me Kid coming. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Move! Move! <laughs> don't hit me. How did that feel? That one hurt a little bit. I'm just gonna... Describe the pain. Like a brush burn on concrete. Hmm. This shit's like, there's no like It's nothing. slush. This is horrible, horrible conditions. But that's what these things are for. If you guys have not figured out, this is not a snowboarding channel. It's cars. He 
You did it! This is my kind of bunny hill. Look, no one here, except for this show off, like super pro over here making a snowman, but this is my kind of practice hill. I like it. All right, now is the time to not wipe out. So you're gonna get the good run in. This would be the time. All right, well. I mean, I'll plow right through you. Oh, I was trying to stop. I was trying to. I was trying to piece it down instead of flying down. Take it. That wasn't too bad for the first run back. See, all I needed was some nachos. Just want to throw one good snowball at you. I was trying to catch it. <laughs> it. Well, I was trying not to like, I didn't want to overthrow it and like peg you in the face. I would have felt so bad. It's like when you hear that click, you're like, oh no, wait a minute. That's it. such a good snowball too, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, that's so depressing. She took my snowball. You can't do that. She started it. Would you throw it before I stand up and really fall over? Yeah, threw it nicely, threw it nicely. <laughs> Listen, YouTube, I know you can't see me right now, but if there's snow and you don't throw a snowball, you're doing it wrong. I don't care if it's pure ice or fluff. Watch out, Kirsten! Such a good run, dude! I see this blue haze on the ground and I realized that you're I'm coming! Your jacket reflecting on the snow! I was coming in hot, Harold! Show off! So this is what Kirsten has to do. This is our because I'm using her board, as you guys know. And her bindings are a little bit small. So <laughs> it's it's a whole reload procedure. I'll get out of your way this time. No, you can go go down. I will present you with a snowball. Right in the behind. Go, go, gadget. Snowboard. Do it! Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. That one actually was like the most graceful fall all day because I just well I knew I was going down, so I'm just like, like an angel falling in the snow. Why thank you, that's what I was going for. Now let me be clear, again, first time out in 10 plus years easily. And I'm pretty sure the last time out doing this, uh, it was still down like the other baby, the not so baby slope up there. So I don't know. I expected to fall, so it's not not a big surprise. Did I do that bad? Okay. Well, never. Yeah, that's. We'll just pretend it wasn't that bad, but it's it's fine. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, it was nothing crazy. I just wanted to share that. I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring the GoPro. I didn't want to bring the big camera. I brought it in the car on the way there, but I didn't want to be out and about filming with the big camera. Um, you know, while trying to learn and bounce on a snowboard the way my luck works, it wouldn't have worked out well. So GoPro is all, all you got on that, but uh, it's getting a little chilly in here. Let's head inside, go upstairs to my office, and I'm gonna reveal the winner of the Adams Polishes two-step swirl killer giveaway. 
All right, guys, back in the office. We're gonna make this short and sweet. So what I did was I ran through all the comments. I exported them into a CSV file of all the comments. Pretty much ran that through a random generator, a line generator. Found that person and went and checked to make sure they were following Adams and myself. And the winner of the Adams Two Step Swirl Killer Polishing Kit is Grant Eshelman. I'll put your name on here. Now, what I'm going to do, Grant, if you're watching, hopefully you are, is I'm going to shoot you a message on YouTube. Now, hopefully you respond within probably I would say like a week. If he doesn't respond within a week or or maybe two, or may, maybe I'll push it out a little bit. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to rerun this because I want to make sure somebody gets this kit. I don't want to let it go on. Um, unused, so to say, and, and especially since there was a lot of great um, feedback and a lot of response on that video. So, Grant, if you're watching, keep an eye out on your messages on the YouTube platform. I will shoot you a message on there to get your shipping address and everything, and um, hopefully you enjoy it. That about wraps it up on this video, guys. I know it's not a big car vlog on this one, but I'm kind of hoping to maybe start bringing you guys along on some of my adventures. I don't want to be necessarily tied to car content. Now, I understand a lot of you guys are here because of car content, but I want to try to find a space where I can blend the lifestyle stuff maybe into the into the car stuff and kind of just put a unique twist on it um, you know and you know I'm looking for your feedback on that the buying a Jeep log was kind of like where I want to see it going maybe put a little more car content in there but um, I think that that vlog turned out really well and I was really happy with how that one came out so let me know what you guys think for everybody who participated and commented and just you know really gave me their their input on that kit in the video regarding this giveaway I appreciate it don't you guys worry there will definitely be some more giveaways that's for sure because that, that was such a great response uh, I loved reading through all the comments I couldn't respond to all of them but it was really nice to listen to your guys's um, inputs and what you would use it for and it's just it's cool to hear that so again stay tuned for more giveaways uh, rumor has it perhaps maybe january there'll be another one so that wraps this video up thank you guys for watching click that red subscribe button click the bell icon so you're notified of the future uploads we'll see you on the next one